Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here on the main menu because I like to start the second session of a Let's Play by showing you guys exactly what happens when I load the game. Since, as I like to say every time, you can never be sure until you've done it once. So, with that in mind, continue game! I think that's where I am, but I don't have any outfits. Okay, uh, not a terribly big surprise. They just, uh... Kind of dropped me off nearby. Doesn't look like I've been thrown back an hour or anything. No unpleasant surprises. Gee, I'm guessing I'm supposed to go over there, because the, you know, the shimmer is over the door. At least that's what I've been thinking of that as. I'm pretty sure that's just the house doing that. Like, that's the will of the house speaking through Jesse. Which it seems to have been doing for quite some time. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see where that leads. After this jump cut! Man, imagine how many taken you could fry with these emergency lights. Ah, yes, good. Um... I just needed to make some adjustments and uh, test some things. Thought I might have found a way to uh, get the controller cooperating, but I don't know. Maybe it's just this game. Actually, that reminds me. Aside from the amusement of sealing myself in here for the other side of a jump cut. Uh, oh, jeez, I could see the mouse moving up and down like that because uh, my knee was bouncing. Translating the movement through my whole body, I guess. Speaking of which, yeah, 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 uh, maybe it's just this game being weird to the controller. Going over the footage from the first session, I said an awful lot of very strange things. You know, things that we're not even sure where I was coming from after the fact. I don't know, like, like real talk? Uh, even though those just went live, you know, for me yesterday, uh, you know, on Saturday the 26th, I actually filmed them on the Tuesday before that to be sure that they were up and uploaded for Saturday. You know, it would have been just my luck if there was like, some kind of massive power outage uh, that blew out the power grid in Ontario for like a week, and I hadn't been able to upload or record for that matter. But, uh... You know, I'm starting to think, maybe the reason for all those strange things is just... I don't know. That was right after I finished, uh... Super Liminal, so my head was already in a weird place, or... Or, hey, maybe it's because I was in a weird place. You know, maybe it's the fucking oldest house doing that. <laughs> yeah, like, Remedy's getting really meta this time. Can't find your office. Oh, great. That's an ominous ass channel. I don't think that's how reflections are supposed to work, just FYI. Well, since it is my first day, I'm just going to assume that's a radio and not something disguised as a radio that will make... Oh, hey. Lure. Shifted bathroom complaint. Oh, God. Here we go. Ahem! Federal Bureau of Control. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. <laughs> oh, God. Like, nine? Oh, no, it says nine in total. Yeah, okay. Because I'd only have the one multimedia thing. I only have the one case file? Yeah, that makes sense. 
All right, all right. The shimmer wants me to follow it. Uh. Oh. Oh, there's more. Cool. Uh, energy renewal. Energy gained from headshots. I'm going to go with ammo cost per shot, though, you know, being reduced, because I don't have anything that uses energy. Oh, that's right. I can't use attacks right now. That's why the, uh, the blast isn't working. Because it's the only thing that I could think of, and that doesn't use energy. Imagine how angry they'd be if you walked in with, like, a wireless modem and adapter taped to your chest like a fucking, you know, uh... Like the, like the wire worn by, like, a snitch. There's a better term for it than that, I don't know what it is. House memory. You do not have a clearance level. Oops. Well, whatever house memory is, I've got three of it. Uh, is this before or after all those conversations I had? Let's just check. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. The hotline should be in the communications department. Yes, that's right, the red phone. Good, okay. Sorry. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Alright, alright, I'll listen to the voice in my head. Nostalgia department? Oh, man! If the collective unconscious shapes things, does that mean that life really was better in the past because everyone thinks it was? There it is again. A welcome message. Oh, that sounds like fucking Doom 2 Icon of Sin backwards talk right there. To win the game, you must defeat me, John Romero. Undefined reading. Oh, uh, shout out to Clunk279 for suggesting that, uh, more than anything else, the service weapon is the platonic ideal of a weapon. You know, like, when it, I guess when they first found it, it was like... When they first, first found it, not when the Bureau found it in the 60s. I mean, like, the first time they found it, it's like... I could imagine that. If someone brings it into existence by imagining, well, I have a sword, and everyone else has a sword. But what if my sword was mightier than all the rest? What if it had flames on it or cut through any armor? Well, since I know you're not people anymore... You can just shut the fuck up. Because I am not at all convinced you're not slowly brainwashing everyone who's listening to you. You can't stop me from vandalizing that room! Oh, yes you can. Huh, that shouldn't be a window. That's weird. I guess this is the dead letter office, then. Oh dear, I've agitated them. Why'd they just kill that guy? Sorry, you're not allowed to exist anymore. Oh, I'm sorry! You need a clearance level to have a shootout with the director. It would be very funny to me if there was a button to straighten that. They deserved better. Oh, hell.
Oh, they can just fucking warp in out of nowhere. Like they're the fucking color out of space or something. Oh, there. Oh, well, I found the crouch button. Pardon me a moment, I can't remember if there's a stick to cover button. Nope! I don't like you have to crouch again afterwards. I don't care about that. Uh, hiss barrier. Uh, let's see here. Field research on hiss entity. Hiss barrier. Confidential. Of course it's confidential! We're the Bureau, you maniac! Okay, um... <laughs> the Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resor resonance sources found in the vicinity, or destroy the Hiss entities in the area. Oh, okay, it's a shield over the doors to keep you from leaving until you kill all the enemies. Gotcha! It's one of those things. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? I would say no, given that I'm not sure the Hiss qualifies as a conscious being. Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. Well, I mean, ant lions dig pits and bury themselves in them. That doesn't mean that they're smart enough to uh, realize the why of what they're doing. Just wait at the bottom of the pit for something stupid to walk in, and BOOM! Lunch! But again, I don't think it knows that, it's just following instinct. So, you know, this might be just like the cosmic power equivalent of an animal. No, you're not a mod of some kind. Oh, I see, you're a bomb! They seem mad. I don't like that sound at all. Uh, Havana summary. Altered world events. Hey, it's our first AWE. Ahem! <clears throat> Havana. Aw, uh, 48. Event summary. An auditory event occurred in the United States. Oh, this was real! This was a real thing where a whole bunch of people just passed out at the uh, United States Embassy. And, uh, it was, they, they actually believed it was some kind of supersonic attack, I think. Like a test, a test use of some sonic weapon. Uh, an auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, in injuring the majority of diplomatic staff there. Redacted deaths were reported, I don't know if anyone actually died, and the outgoing information has been managed. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the awe, which is reported to have been redacted. It is probably better to say AWE. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomena were witnessed. That's the plural of phenomenon, you see. So they used, uh, they should have used were instead of was. Uh, the scene was cordoned off, and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity... Recited? Oh, good. It's like a... I'm imagining, like, a poem that is itself altered. Like, when you say all of the words in that poem in order, suddenly it goes from random words to a thing, and, s and an effect happens in the area around you. I don't know if that made any sense outside of my head. After Formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file AI-85 for details. Hmm. 
Well, something awful is happening in here. Oh! Nope, no, I don't like that. Whatever that stuff is, it's really toxic. I'm almost dead. I wonder if those health dots are still on the floor. Shit. This isn't even where I was. I was at the other end of the room. Which means those... Yes! Dots! Nom 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 nom. Just eat them all up like Pac-Man or something. Man, I wish I had a flashlight. It's really fucking dark in here. Did that close back up by itself, or is this the other side of the room? No, no, this is the place. I just need to get in there because there's lore in there. Oh! Get it! Ah, oh, shit. Go figure, the first time I die is a fucking room. Aha! I was, I was I was thinking about that. I, I didn't even say it last time. You know, it just one of those things. Is like, huh? This thing clearly reconfigures itself on the fly. I wonder if it can become different guns. You know, Derek Floyd, our uh, weapons expert, uh, among the burning dog fans, was flummoxed by the uh, the service weapon being what it is. Oh, you fucker! No, uh, tab. That's right. No, it's not even tab. It's G! Uh, yes. Case files. Okay. Okay. I haven't lost the lore. I'm just over here. Maybe I've just been physically moved to the save point. This is not... That's where I came in, I think. No, 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 no. I just jumped in from up there. That's right. Because all the walls were in closer. There it is again. Our welcome message. Or maybe it didn't happen. Ugh. Who the fuck is Tomasi and why am I getting that? Is that you? No, that's a dude. That's a dude's voice. Or is Tomasi just that they're crediting the, uh, the Hiss voice as? Okay, I guess I keep lore, but not items. That's... It was right in front of me. I was not going to ignore that. Fuck. Ah, uh, there it is. Travel costs. Week 83 report. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn. Big Sky Motel. Starlight Motel, In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, The White Cat Inn, A Plus Lodge, Expenditures, Accommodation, $831.29. So, just to be difficult, I'm going to imagine that's in Australian dollars, since, you know, you didn't say. Meals, $741.84. Gasoline, $295.12. Like a full tank, I guess. <laughs> Mini bar. Uh, asterisk. The boys in research said performing rituals may... Rich rituals? For fuck's sake, me. Rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. <laughs> Mini bar. Okay. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. So, they, that suggests to me they know some supernatural bullshit is going on at a place called the Ocean View Motel. And they have their agents out just randomly looking for it? In Nevada? Like, it actually sounds here like their job is just to go and sleep at a different motel every night to see if some crazy shit happens. Huh.
Okay, I think those guys are still dead, unless they like... Yeah, there was one right out there, wasn't there? In front of that window that was not blocked, because it's the only frame that isn't. Okay, no, no. It's overpowering here. Oh, that's the barrier. I just wish it was clearer. It's just fucking red over there. I thought it was going to lead to a control point. I don't know, put the shimmer in. No, no, not the shimmer. Put the, like... Yeah, the shimmer is our thing. Put that, like, weird mist those things make in there. Make it look like that. No, I'm dead. No. Fuck. Well, at least those guys are still dead, too. And maybe since I've popped the thing, I can run in there and pick it up off the ground without, you know, going through the animation. I guess I'll do that before the end of the episode. So you don't have to watch me die again the next time. This whole, like, oil and paint over glass thing is really weird looking to me. That's the only thing I can think of that would look like that. Can I aim my there blast upwards? Well, no. Why do those guys come back? I don't trust that one. Avoid modern technology. Synchronicity Research Department. Why does that one give me the vibe that it isn't just, uh, like, one thing that can use wireless signals? I don't know, maybe the fucking oldest house is allergic to them or something. I'm just gonna hold this here for a second. If any of this means anything to you, uh, you are a smarter person than me. <laughs> oh, I know. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With all that. Okay, now it's cannon. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, it's okay. I thought they like removed his lower jaw, but it was just covered in blood. Oh, I don't like the splashes. I just assumed it would be tacky by now. Huh, it does quiet them down. Obviously, it doesn't make them any less agitated, but it does make them quieter. Cool. Come on, come on, the timer is already gone. Right, where's that fucking door at? Ah, there we go. Well, I can't pick that up. actually see what it was. I don't think I picked it up. Nope. Whoa. Oh, I hate that. Why did it do that by itself? Oh, dear. Uh, sorry, big guy. I didn't mean to blow apart your walls like that. No, seriously, I don't want to get on the building I'm inside of. It's a bad side. And real quick, do these guys drop dots? No. Okay, now I know. Uh, I'm not actually sure where I meant to go at this point, I suddenly realized, so thankfully I'm just going to call it. Hey, sorry about that. I just want to do my outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control, when we continue looking around and hopefully find more than an one big room. Eesh.
leader.